right, this is gonna be a review of the Vessi Stormburst shoe. Uh, it's not gonna be a typical review, I wouldn't say, because I'm gonna be wearing these uh, to play disc golf. Future Johnny here. Uh, I think while I'm saying this is gonna be a very disc golf centric review, I think it'll still apply to people just looking for a regular shoe uh, from Vessi, or if you're looking for more of this hiking boot type thing, uh, just skip to the end, look for the final thoughts, and I'll give my take on how they are just in general as well, not just for disc golf. Uh, apparently I'm very hard on shoes, so I'm gonna be looking at how these can handle just between all the walking from playing disc golf, and then again, the mechanic with regards to throwing. Um, I tend to get a lot of toe drag and pressure on the outsides of my shoes. I'm not expecting these to be the most durable shoe I've ever worn. The thing I feel like at this point I just wanted desperately was waterproof shoes. So I'm super excited for that. Uh, but I thought we'll see as they go for the rest of this season, basically from now brand new until November or maybe if they just happen to fall apart, that's where this review is going to end. At first impressions, I'm going to expect this is probably also going to kind of burn off on the bottom here. Um, just based on how thin that layer is of rubber for the grip. Um, and I'll be eager to see how the sides handle the pressure from uh, throwing my different drives again. But yeah, let's see how they do. crazy windy today um all right what i was thinking i would do is a bit of a kind of a check-in because i've had these uh let's take one off here i've had these shoes for about two months now actually um and i feel like tons has happened so i suppose right off the bat i'll just give some impressions i've been having uh overall i would say comfortable however the kind of that stretchy fabric material that they're made out of has a bit of give, so my foot is kind of moving in the boot, which I, I feel like is giving me a bit of rub on kind of the pad of my foot. Otherwise, walking and everything else has been great. The waterproofing seems to be working, but uh, at this point in time, let's let's track back a little bit. I got an email from Vessi after about a month of having these, saying that the eyelet might pop out of the shoe. Um, I haven't tested to see if they actually will break or not but they actually gave me back the full value of these shoes uh to use on their site so i thought i would try a different shoe out uh so i got the everyday move uh and i do have a review for that it was i figured they would end up kind of coming out at the same time but that shoe just i mean you can see the review it's not very long it's about five minutes just didn't do it for me i was getting blisters from the heel and just going out for a round uh with the dew on the grass the top of the shoes got really wet and then eventually it just seeped through to my toes so i'll have to do more testing to see how these are waterproof or uh, waterproof wise but yeah overall they've been going i think really well especially considering that i've had a uh, somewhat negative experience with the other boot or shoe uh but what else yeah i've done lots of rounds Again, the, the wiggle with the fabric is not ideal, but overall they've been comfortable. Uh, just trying to look here now because my right foot gets the drag. So I'm not sure if it's easy to see, but we are getting a bit of wear off the toe. In fact, the uh, this liner here is almost gone from the side. I was expecting that anyway, so that's not uh, that's not a deal breaker for sure, but. Yeah, I just wanted to do a check-in. We're about two months in. Things are going good, uh, with the exception of the other Vessi shoe, but that's its own thing. So yeah, so far, so good. Alright, 
I haven't done a check-in in a little while. Uh, we're in, it's the end of July now. I haven't actually been wearing the shoes as much as I thought I would. We kind of hit into summer fast. Ooh, gross. <laughs> it's raining. Um, we got into summer fast and there just wasn't a time where it was that wet, so I didn't really need to try out the shoes too much. Um, however, there has been at least a couple days, including today now, where I've been able to get out wearing these shoes. And, you know, overall, uh, some of the things just disc golf related that I've not been liking is just the give in the shoe, that sock material, just when, you're, when I'm trying to plant my feet to throw, it, you know, it it's not got a lot of structure to it, I guess. So not its design, so not a real fault maybe, but um, the other thing is the waterproofing, which I will say compared to the other shoes I had, these ones have actually, it's taken a while, but the, the water is ultimately coming through. I feel like uh, it gets wet on top. It just holds the water on the knit material. And then as soon as my feet just start pressing up more, it just slowly starts to to come into it. In the, in the grand scheme of shoes, like everything that says waterproof usually isn't at all. Um, they've done so much better. Like my socks are damp on top, but that's about it. It's just the fact that they're supposed to be fully waterproof. And yeah, I can't really say that they are, unfortunately. The grip isn't the best either, so. It's tricky, I would really love to be wearing another pair of shoes even when it's wet right now, but they would just get soaked. They certainly beat them in that regard, but with the exception of these wet days, there's really gonna be no no use for them outside of that. So yeah, we'll, uh, we'll see how they go. Uh, maybe get them into winter and do a snow round or two and just see how much I hate that, I don't know. But uh, yeah, we'll catch you soon. quick follow-up uh, to that last bit. I've just gone to another course now that has like taller grass and rough and stuff and it's finished these shoes off completely. My feet are absolutely soaked. Yeah, just pretty disappointed. I, I don't know, uh, initially, like I said, they were just kind of damp from getting wet and it was manageable, but now they're just as soaked as any other freaking shoe. So at that point, it's just not, uh, yeah. Real bummer, to say the least, so, yeah. Fully waterproof, they say. Video. I'm gonna to try to run through my final thoughts as quick as I can here. Thank you if you watched the whole video, uh, especially if you've got to the rain part, you'll maybe know where this video is headed. Uh, I'm gonna start with the pro because it's a it's a big one for them, which is just Vessi as a company and their customer support. Uh, about a month and a half into having these, there was a an email I got sent that was basically saying that this eyelet might pop out. Uh, in which case. You just have to loop the lace through the hole, it's not a big deal. And the laces aren't really, they're kind of just for show anyways. It, it's more of a slip-on shoe, but I got refunded the entire value of the shoe. I think I'd also used a coupon code on it, but they refunded the entire value, not just like with the discount applied. So more than I had paid essentially. Uh, so huge, huge shout out. I've had bigger issues with other stuff in the past and I've had far uh, less. <laughs> success in any kind of result and this was just almost a nothing issue and to refund the whole shoe was just huge so that said I got to get into the cons here and that is almost everything um, I have talked a lot about the, the give of the shoe which I was kind of applying to disc golf and thinking you know I'm planting my foot and it's wiggling too much but if you're looking to be hiking in these things just know that the give it has if you're on uneven terrain is not maybe going to be ideal and I also found I was getting rub on my feet because this it was allowing my foot to move inside just on the pads of my my feet it was also causing a bit of rub so 
not great support. If you're going hiking, you probably want to shoot with better structural integrity that's not going to let you roll your ankle and whatnot. So there's that. The grip is also nothing to write home about. And then the waterproofing, the thing I wanted the shoe for, and it's just been a letdown. Um, if you've seen any promotional thing for Vessies, you've seen every on the earth walk through a puddle with these shoes, but outside of that, if they don't have an opportunity to dry, the knit material will hold the water and allow it to seep through. You're on the clock once these get wet, uh, so if you are out in the rain or if you're constantly walking through puddles, it's going to add up and it's going to soak through. And once it soaks through, it's game over. That's it. Like, my shoe was full. So, they are not fully waterproof. Uh, and at that point, like I said, I don't know what you're really wanting in these. Because for me, it's, okay, hiking boot, waterproof, disc golf. That's all I could think of. And if you're out hiking and doing stuff like that, it's... I don't think the give is good. The grip is not going to keep you from slipping. And they're not waterproof. Despite what they try to say, it is not fully waterproof. It's, uh, yeah, it's an unfortunate note to end on. I was super excited to have these, and like I said, I've had them for a year and just almost didn't want to finish this video because I knew I wanted to film and try and be out in the snow, which they were decent for. Like, they weren't as cold as I thought they would be, um, but slippery and still having the give problem and not waterproof. So again, once the snow was sitting on top and kind of melting, damp socks again. So, uh, yeah, <laughs> I'm almost dreading finishing this review because I just didn't want to do it anymore. But at that point, I'd already put a lot of time into it. So, final thoughts, cannot recommend them. They are not fully waterproof. Um, but thank you if you watched this video. Sorry, it's a total sour note to end on, but I appreciate it. And we'll see you in the next one.